Google just announced that they're launching Project Aura next year, which is the most advanced consumer glasses that we've ever seen on the market. Not only that, but they already have a really critical feature that the Ray-Ban Meta displays don't have, which is an open SDK, meaning developers from all over can make a ton of apps for the Project Aura. Google also announced that they are making a competitor to the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. And if that's not enough, Google already has rolled out a new update to their Samsung Galaxy XR headset. And we have a lot to cover in this video. Google is not only participating in the XR market, they are completely taking the entire industry by storm. But first, let's talk about the updates to the Samsung Galaxy XR. The Samsung Galaxy XR now has PC Connect, which allows you to connect your headset to your laptop and remotely use your laptop. This is very similar to the Apple Vision Pro feature of being able to use your Apple Vision Pro with your MacBook. We are also now seeing likeness available on the Samsung Galaxy headset. Likeness is their new digital avatar. So you make a digital avatar version of yourself so that when you're doing video calls on your Samsung Galaxy headset, the person that you're calling will be able to see the digital avatar of you. Does that remind you of anything? Obviously the avatars in the Apple Vision Pro have been so popular. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but there was an article on USA Today where I talked about the avatars on the Apple Vision Pro. But not only will you be able to use this likeness in the Samsung Galaxy XR headset, but you will also be able to use your likeness in the Project Aura glasses. There is travel mode that's available on the Samsung Galaxy XR. Additionally, the Samsung Galaxy XR is going to make the entire display much more immersive with a thing that they're calling System Auto Spatializer, which takes 2D display elements or windows and adds layers to them to make them look a lot more 3D and immersive. Unfortunately, I've not had time to test any of these out yet because I want to get this video done as soon as possible, but I will be testing out these new features and I'll post a video on it. So please make sure you're subscribed for that. Now let's talk about the Project Aura. These glasses are the most advanced consumer smart glasses that we have seen to date. Last year, Meta did show off Project Orion, which is also a very advanced piece of smart glasses. However, that was never intended to release to consumers. Well, Project Aura is a very advanced pair of glasses and it's already been announced that they're launching next year to the public. So what makes these glasses so advanced? You can have multiple displays in them. You can have multiple windows. So you can watch YouTube, you can send messages, you can video call people using your likeness. You can pair it with your laptop to have more screens. Now there are glasses that I've talked about before that can do some of these features as well, such as the Rokid glasses. But remember, the Rokid glasses don't allow you to do video calls. They are just a consumption type of glasses. But with the Project Aura, this is really going to be both consumption and for use, specifically because these glasses have hand tracking. So for example, with the broken glasses, you needed to use the puck to be able to control the glasses. Project Aura, they did mention that you could also use the connected device to navigate through the glasses, but also there's hand tracking available without using neural bands, like what you would do with the Ray-Ban Metas, which means they're gonna be so much more accessible, so much more usable for the everyday person who might not always want to wear a neural band. What really makes me excited about these glasses that the Meta Ray-Ban displays don't have is that they have an open SDK. Google already announced that they are allowing developers to make apps for them, meaning they will be just so much more useful. If you saw my video about my gripes with the Meta Ray-Ban displays, it's that the functionality of them is so limited because there's just not enough apps. And that's not all. Google is also releasing a competitor to the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. This is in partnership with Samsung, Warby Parker, and Gentle Monster, and it will have Gemini AI instead of Meta AI. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you know how popular Gemini AI is at the moment. We'll have a camera to be able to take photos, a competitor to the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, but with Warby Parker instead of Ray-Ban and with Gemini AI instead of Meta AI.
Google came in hot and came in swinging with all of these updates. But I will mention this. M Meta has owned a majority of the smart glasses market for years. And we know that they have Orion working because people demo that a year ago with Project Aura already announced to launch next year. I just wonder what Meta is going to do. I am really excited about all of this with the advancements that we're seeing in smart glasses and VR headsets, like smartphones are going to be a thing of the past sooner than we know it. So if you wanna be kept up to date with all of this information, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I talk all about it. And also reminder that I am doing a giveaway for one of my Ray-Ban Meta Gen 1 glasses, a video here of where you need to, so that video, you need to comment on that video, which glasses you want. And it is this video that's showing here somewhere. And then make sure you're following me on Instagram so I can DM you if you win. The winner will be announced in a live stream on my channel before Christmas. So who do you think is going to win this race? Is it going to be Google or Meta or Apple? Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next time. Goodbye.